Happy anniversary, my love. Ah! Oh my god! Gary, Sarah, what the fuck? Frankie? Gary, listen to me. No, what the fuck is wrong with you? How dare you? What happened to your business trip? It doesn't matter what the fuck happened. I came home early because I wanted to surprise you on our anniversary, and you're having sex with my little brother? Uh, where are the kids? I took them to- I just, Where the fuck are the kids, Sarah? I dropped them off at your mom's house. Oh, really? Because I was at my mom's house just ten minutes ago, and they weren't fucking there, you goddamn liar. I don't give a damn what you want to do behind my back, but don't you dare fucking lie to me about the whereabouts of my children, Sarah. Where the fuck are they? Listen, Gary, calm down. They're fine. They're with my roommate. Listen, motherfucker, you better stay at least six feet away from me right now, because I'll fuck you up. Oh, really? You're gonna fuck me up? I swear to God, Frankie, back the fuck up right now. I'm about to pound your fucking face. In. Oh, really, punk bitch? I'd like to see you try. Well, you're about to see Frankie. Really? Oh, really? After all the shit I've done for you. After I worked 30 hours a week in high school so I could pay for your Anaheim trip. After I allowed you to live in my house rent-free for three years because you couldn't get a job because of your burglary conviction. I took care of you like you were my own son from the day dad left. You forgot to mention the part where dad left because of you. You shut the fuck up. If you never told mom that dad was cheating on her, you know he would be here. You fucking know he would have never left. And you know what? I'd do it over and over again if I could Because guess what He was a good for nothing Deadbeat piece of shit Just like you Oh yeah A deadbeat piece of shit Who gets more bitches than you ever will Oh really You wanna violate the sanctity of my marriage And then you wanna brag about it And boast it around Like you're some kind of fucking stud Where the hell do you get off Inside of your wife Bum 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 Bitch bum. Gary, calm down. Don't tell me to fucking calm down. Gare Bear, don't fucking call me that. You don't get to call me that anymore. The only person who gets to call me that is the woman I married, and you are most certainly not her. She would never do something like this to me. I don't know what you did with my Sarah, but I want her back. Gary, I just... I gave so many signs. I haven't been happy in a long time. I, I just needed to try something new. You... I had dreams before we settled down and I get them all up. Well, did it ever occur to you that I did too, Sarah? In fact, the only reason I turned down college was for you. I cut off half my friends. I started working at the warehouse and I built this home for us. I gave up all of my dreams and never once did I regret it. And you know why? Because I thought you were worth it. I thought our family was worth it, but clearly I was wrong. Clearly you don't agree. Gary, I don't mean that. I love you so much. Say don't call me, don't test me, don't look for me. As a matter of fact, don't look at me right now. You don't deserve to look at me. I don't ever want to see you again. And I'm going to get my kids. Maki, how dare you leave them with a stranger so you can have sex with my brother. I don't know who you are. Kendra, you're back. Kevin, I'm only here to collect my things. Babe, you left before I could even explain myself. Explain what? That I caught you fucking cheating on me? And God knows how many times you've done it before? No, babe, it's not like that. It was just one time. And you know what? I don't give a fuck if it was one time, two times, or twenty times. You shouldn't have did what the fuck you did to me. And the fact that you were doing it in our bed, Kevin, where we make love, where we made a baby together, a baby that you aborted without telling me. I didn't tell you I aborted the baby, Kevin, because I can't fucking trust you. I didn't know how the fuck you would react. And that's exactly the problem, Kendra. You don't fucking trust me. No, absolutely the fuck I don't. And I was right not to trust you the entire time for you to go and fuck another girl in our bed. Well, maybe I wouldn't have had to fuck her if you would just pay more attention to me. You ever think of that? Pay more attention to you? Kevin, I've been working 10-hour shifts five days a week to keep a roof over our heads. Because you've been unemployed for two fucking months. I have no Two fucking months, Kevin. You said you were going to get a job five weeks ago. I'm fucking trying, okay? Don't even fucking do this to me right now. I've been fucking trying. Well, clearly you're not trying hard enough just like you weren't trying hard enough to keep your fucking pants on and that's why you're gonna be all alone broke and washed up because i'm gone i'm really gone this time you lost me this time kevin i you know babe you can't baby just tell me what i need to do i'll do it for you to say there's nothing left to say kevin babe come on if i say anything else to you kevin i'm just gonna hurt your fucking feelings so i best be on my way out like Haley williamson just say whatever it is babe i can take you know what i have to say to you kevin you're a dumbass motherfucker. You clearly don't know what the fuck you had, and you definitely know not what the fuck you're losing right now for you to go and pull some stupid ass shit like that. You got a lot of fucking audacity and not nearly enough inches below the belt to back it all up. Nothing but three inches of chode in there and nothing going on upstairs. Bitch, you are not half the fucking man you think you are. Shit, you're not even a quarter. And that's precisely why I'm fucking leaving you. Have fun with that fucking floozy over there. By the way, Ariel, don't think I don't see your musty fish ass in that fucking closet. Step out. Yeah, that's right. Step out. 
I could already tell he was fucking you the moment I walked in the pad and it smelled like rotten ass fucking fish. Cause that's all you'll ever be, ho. A goddamn fish. I should've known you were a shady motherfucker when you got those fake as fuck legs all so you could walk on land to go get dick. That is a horny pick me ass bitch right there. You know what, Kendra? At the end of the day, you can talk all the shit you want. I still fuck your man. He said, that's fine. That's fine. You can have him. You can have that motherfucker right there. He needs a girl like you right now. As a matter of fact, he doesn't have a job, so it's all he can afford. Oh, please, girl, please shut the fuck up. Look at you now. Look at me. Look at you now, look at me, look where he is right now, look who he's begging on the floor, fucking pleading to stay, and look who he's hiding in the fucking closet, we are not Demi and Selena, and we are not one and the same, keep my fucking name out of your mouth, bye both of you motherfucking nasty pieces of shit. It's this house, right over here ma'am. Uh, hello? Uh, Kendra? What are you doing here? And who the fuck are you? Oh, hello. You must be Ariel. My name is Ashley, and I work with Child Protective Services. Would it be okay if I step in for just a moment? Kendra, what the fuck is going on right now? Well, since you're the type of friend who wants to fuck on my man in my own house, I decided to call CPS and bring them to yours to show them the kind of dog shit mother you are. Uh, listen, I have no idea what she told you, but I will have you know I am a fantastic mother, and you have no right to search inside of my house. Actually, Ariel, due to the overwhelming amount of evidence Kendra has presented us, not only confirming your excessive substance abuse, but as well as general neglectful nature, the court has issued a warrant that allows me to enter the premises. Now, if you would just step aside, Kendra, what the fuck did you tell them? Bitch, I told them everything. I told them about the time you sold your food stamps for coke. I told them about the time you went to Cancun with Flounder for two weeks and I had to take care of your kids for you. And I showed them the pictures of you sucking men off on Instagram while your kids are watching TV in the same room. So step aside, neck breather. Uh, I, what? Babe, can you just tell whoever that is to leave? This fin isn't gonna ride itself, bitch. Uh, wow, really, Ariel? You were fucking my man last night, and now you're in here having sex with one of the sea monsters from Finding Nemo? I knew you were fucking dirty. Uh, where are the children, ma'am? Oh, they're still locked in the attic. What? Aaron, shut the fuck up! Mommy! Mom! Let us out! Mommy, let us out! Oh my gosh! We need to help them! Kendra! Kendra! Yay! Kendra's here! Kendra! What is going on? These are her kids, ma'am. Ernie, Michelangelo, Snow White, and the fire dog from Paw Patrol. They all have different dads, in case you couldn't tell. Mommy locked us in here last night! We thought we'd never get out! <coughs> Miss Triton! You should be ashamed of yourself. Is this any way for King Neptune's daughter to be behaving? I, I didn't mean to hurt them. So you mean to tell me you lock your helpless, innocent kids in this basement so you could get dicked down by a goddamn sea monster? You have a lot of fucking nerve, Ariel. I can't believe I was ever friends with a nasty-ass, disrespectful person like you. You got no respect for me. You got no respect for your kids. You had no respect for your ex-husband who left you shackled up in this section 8 housing because you've been cheating on him for years and most importantly you have no respect for yourself the woman in the mirror and that's why time and time again you put yourself in these situations where you victimize everybody around you and then have the audacity to play victim yourself and it's time you face the repercussions and the consequences of your actions well Ariel, I must be taking your children with me. No, no, not my babies, not my babies. I hate you. The court shall now commence the people versus Ariel Triton, the honorable Judge Elsa taking the stand. Well, to summarize for the jury, basically, this bitch was giving head on camera with her kids in the same goddamn room, and then she locked them in the basement for days at a time while she was getting a train ran on her by multiple random men. And plus, she's a fucking drug addict. <laughs> The court summons prosecuting attorney Angelique Ramirez to come to the stand and drag this hoe by her unbrushed red vines. Angelique. Thank you, Your Honor. Let's make one thing very fucking clear right now, Ariel. We see the very type of person you are as you have shown it to the court multiple times before you even took the stand. You really mean to sit here and tell me you were on vacation for over two weeks without telling anybody you were leaving and Kendra had to come and take care of your kids for you Also, you could go fuck her man behind her back? Some kind of fucking friend you are. That's just plain disrespectful. Do you have anything to say for yourself? 
all I have to say is that the portrait that has been painted of me in this courtroom is not reflective of who I really am. My ex-best friend Kendra merely has started a smear campaign against me because she's jealous that I can fuck her man better than she can and she's jealous of my family and wants to take my kids away from me. Well, let me tell you something right now, Ariel. You've got the game all fucked up. Kendra didn't force you to neglect your children and Kendra didn't force you to be the foul spirited person that you are. At this point in time, your best bet would be to own up to your mistakes and take accountability and responsibility for yourself as a woman instead of sitting here and pointing the finger at everybody else every time you're called out on your bullshit. Now let me ask you a question, Tater Thought. Of course everybody in this courtroom is already aware that you have put your children in multiple situations where they've had to be around drugs, but have you ever forced your children to ingest drugs themselves? Ah, I would never do such a thing. Why would you even ask me that? Oh really? Fucking lying ass. The prosecution calls Ariel's illegitimate children to the stand. Kids, did your mother ever force you to do drugs? You goddamn right she did. She made us do coke, meth, and weed for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As a matter of fact, our little brother Michelangelo still can't even talk because when he was three months old she got him addicted to crack and he never developed motor skills. I rest my case, your honor. Has the jury reached its verdict? We have, your honor. Our verdict is that, bitch, you're going to jail. And you're getting your fucking kids taken away permanently. As a matter of fact, since you want to be a good-for-nothing ass fucking friend and have sex with her boyfriend behind her back, we're giving custody of your kids to Kendra. How's that for some fucking karma? Take her away, boys. <laughs> oh, funny seeing you here, Kendra. <laughs> Alone, of course. I was just stopping to get some groceries on my way home, or should I say what was once your home? <laughs> I wish I could stay and chat, but as you could probably have guessed, Kevin is waiting for me. You know, he's actually been extremely happy since he got rid of you. Yeah, bitch, and you know who else is waiting for you? Planned Parenthood standing by with the results of your STI test, you rancid sack of shit. You think I give a fuck you're riding that man's great value community shrimp dick? We both know damn well I'm the one who left his dirty, unfaithful dickhead ass, and the only reason you want to get an attitude with me right now is because you rightfully got your fucking kids taken away by CPS and now that they're living with me, they get to actually eat a proper dinner on a daily basis. Instead of that nasty-ass Thanksgiving leftover disaster core crockpot shit stew, you have the audacity to cook up and call food. Bitch, you got all those goddamn Martha Stewart cookbooks and Paula Deen kitchen appliances all so you could serve unseasoned prison meals while the ghost of Gordon Ramsay begs you to stop in the background? Fuck out of my face, neck breather. First of all, you haven't even tasted my food in over a year, so you have no room to speak. And and second of all, I can tell you're just projecting because you're mad that I have your X-Man wrapped around my finger. <laughs> And plus, you think I give a fuck you have custody of those little shits? I only pretended to be sad in court because I wanted my sentence reduced. Well, at least it's nice to see now that you're out of jail, you're spending your food stamps and prostitution money on something other than crack and insane clown posse tickets for once. You run down, flea market trash bag skank. Enjoy sucking up the sloppy seconds because we both know good and fucking well I could take that man's broke, good for nothing, unwashed ass back in a heartbeat if I wanted to. Because every night when he's lying next to you, he's thinking of me, bitch. Wish and he would have never got caught touching your tuna fish ass with a 10 foot pole because you and I both know good and fucking well I'm the best thing that ever fucking happened to him and you want to know the real truth of the matter ho you're really just envious of the fact that I don't need to cling to or rely on any fucking man to tell me who the fuck I am or validate where the fuck I've been or what I'm about because at the end of the day Ariel it doesn't matter who you lay down with or who I lay down with I'm still the highest prize on display and you're still not worth even half a McChicken with your tired musty stank ass that hasn't seen a proper bath since you walked up out of the sea, ho. I can smell your fucking breath from the detergent aisle. And when I do find a man, he'll be a million and one times that expired, empty pocket of shit stain ever will be. Because I'm a grown-ass woman who has learned from my mistakes in life. Unlike some underwater mutations who should maybe take some fucking notes. In fact, I'm glad you two found each other. It's what you deserve. A weak-ass man deserves nothing more than a weak-ass woman. And that's all you'll ever be beyond anything else, Ariel. Is a weak and pathetic vestige of any potential you ever once had in your life and that's why your own children don't fuck with you now excuse me i need to go proceed with my shopping so i can check out my items that i intend to pay for with money that i didn't make on my fucking knees funk monster
Oh, hi there, Ariel. It's so good to see you again. If I'm not mistaken, the last time I saw you was when I gave you that abortion, correct? Oh my gosh, yeah, it has been a minute, hasn't it? Definitely. So, so what brings you in today? Well, to make a long story short, I was having unprotected sex with my best friend's boyfriend, but he promised me he was only having sex with the two of us. But I recently found out he's secretly a male prostitute, so I want to get tested. Yeah, no problem. Just lay down real quick. We'll run some quick tests. Well, Ariel, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it sounds like you have herpes. What? I'm so sorry, but it's true. And also, you're pregnant. What? How could I be pregnant? My stomach hasn't even gotten bigger. Well, it's because your baby is actually a midget, so you didn't notice it was in there. Did you want me to give you another abortion? Well, I actually don't really want an abortion. I just don't think that I can afford to have another child right now. Also, Child Protective Services just took away my other four children, so they might just take this one too. Well, have you thought about the fact that because your baby is a midget, you won't have to feed it as much, so it won't cost you very much money? Also, you could just give birth to it, and I won't tell the government. Oh, that's true. I won't have to spend as much money on baby food. Also, I hear midgets are born potty trained, so diapers aren't a problem. Mm, that is very true, Ariel, but the decision is still yours. Do you want me to abort the baby midget, or would you like to give birth to it? You know what? I think I want to keep it. All right, then. I'm just going to pull it out real quick, but you're going to have to push. Okay. <gasps> Congratulations, Ariel. It's a boy. Actually, ma'am, I identify as non-binary. Oh, my bad. Congratulations, Ariel. It's a they. Greetings, mother. It's incredibly pleasant to meet you this fine day. Oh, you're such a cute little midget baby, aren't you? I can't wait to introduce you to my other children, and I promise you, I won't abuse you like I abused them. <sighs> but damn it, Miss Doctor, how do I get rid of my herpes? Well, Ariel, the only cure to herpes is a true love's kiss. Uh, but I don't even have a boyfriend anymore. <laughs> how am I supposed to find a true love's kiss? Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, I heard there's a dating show that's auditioning and casting up the street. Maybe you should go check it out. Uh, you know, I'm sure you'd get in. You know, you're sexy as fuck. Oh, well, thank you. You know, you're kind of hot, too. I mean, not in, like, a gay way, because I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> Me neither. Well, I used to be. All right, Daniel, let's head home. I'm going to drop you off real quick, then head to the bar to go have anonymous sex with random men, and then I'm going to go try out for that reality show. Welcome home, little Daniel. This is where you're going to live until CPS finds out that I had another undocumented child. I, Eric, where the hell are they, Ariel? What are you doing in my house? Don't pull that shit with me, Ariel. You know good and fucking well I paid more on this house than you ever have. Where the fuck are the kids? I, they're at daycare. Don't fucking lie to me, Ariel. Flounder told me they don't live with you anymore. Where did you take them? I didn't take them anywhere. Well, someone sure as the fuck did. Where are they? They're with Kendra. Why the hell are they with Kendra? She... Uh, just as I thought. You got the fucking kids taken away, didn't you? No, you got the kids taken away. Oh, don't you even dare try to blame this on me. Why do you even care? You haven't even bothered to come see them in the past two years. You barely pay child support. You don't even take care of them. Oh, and you do? I sure as hell took more care of them than you ever have. You think you could just fucking leave our family and then come back once it's taken apart and then act like I'm the bad guy? I would have never left if you wouldn't have cheated on me with Sebastian. You forgot to mention the part where you cheated on me first with that big purple octopus slut. That was years ago, Ariel. I thought we had moved on. Well, I didn't. All you're doing right now is making excuses for yourself, you dumb fucking bitch. Oh, you're not gonna call me no fucking bitch, because I'm not no fucking bitch. I'm your wife in the court of law, only because you wouldn't clear the divorce, and I had to flee to another country, you period blood-headed whore. Fuck you, Eric. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Get the fuck out of my house. Don't you dare put your fucking hands on me. I'll do what the fuck I want. This is my house. Ow! What the hell? Kendra, did I just see you lay your hands on a woman? Are you serious right now, Eric? She hit me first. I don't give a fuck what she was doing. You could have just pushed her off and left. There's no reason for you to be hitting a woman like that. What the fuck kind of man are you? As a matter of fact, shouldn't you be busy off in another country not taking care of your kids, you worthless sack of garbage? Sorry ass excuse of a motherfucker. You don't ever beat on a woman. What are you even doing here? I came over here to beat that bitch's ass. Bitch, come here. Bitch, come here. Oh, oh, you want to get fucked up. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? I saw your fucking Facebook post. What kind of audacity do you have to call me a loose pussy bitch when you're over here getting dicked down by half the population of Denmark? 
I didn't post anything like that. Yes, you fucking did. I saw it with my own two eyes. You look, I, I don't remember everything well, Kendra. I'm on meth. You know I'm on meth. What do you don't understand what it's like to be me, Kendra? You like to sit up there on your soapbox and act like you're so much better than me and you know what you are, but you never even try to see where I'm coming from. I know you look at me and all you see is some rancid whore who fucked your boyfriend, but that's not all there is. Come here. I promise you it's not Kendra. I need help. I need help, Kendra. Please help me. Are you being for real right now? You, you want help from me? Kendra. I need help from you. I, I want my babies back. I want my life back. I don't want to be like that. I can't live like this any longer. Please, Kendra, help me. You know what? Fine. If you need help, come with me. Where are we going? It doesn't matter. If you want help, you want my help, come with me. But I have to take my baby with me. Your baby. I had another baby. Another baby. Wow, holy fuck. But girl, it is like, God, J c just come with me. Oh my. Today on Mori, we have a guest named Ariel who just recently had a child out of wedlock and is not sure who the father is, Kevin or Derek. Let's hear her story. My name is Ariel and I want child support for my baby. I am a single mother of five children and a legal guardian to one child. And I am here to find out who the father is. Kevin and I had unprotected sex several times in the month before I got pregnant with Daniel. And if I had enough money, I would firstly buy some crack and then I would bet the rest that he is the father. And so would my friend Kendra. Well, Ariel is a fucking whore. So frankly, I wouldn't be shocked if neither of these men were the father. But I also think that it's Kevin. Kevin was my boyfriend until he fucked Ariel. And I broke up with his bum ass because I'm not trying to catch whatever nasty gonorrhea, herpes, syphilis bullshit she has going on down there. Just look at them side by side. Daniel looks just like him. If Kevin is the father of this baby, he needs to take care of it. The other possibility is Derek, who you used to be my boyfriend but hasn't been my boyfriend for over a year. We only had sex three times in the month before I conceived Daniel and two of them were with a condom, but he insists that he is the father. Whatever the outcome is, I just want enough money so I can get into rehab. So Ariel, you really think that Kevin is the father of Daniel? Yes I do, Maury, just look at him. Look, they look the same. They are twins. I'm also sure that he's a father. As a matter of fact, when we were dating, I had to get four abortions. That man is repulsively fertile. Well then, let's hear Kevin's side of the story. I am not the father of that ugly ass baby. He looks nothing like me. If anything, it looks like a goddamn Dr. Seuss character. There's no way he could be mine. He doesn't even have my haircut. I'm just here to prove that I am not the father of that child and to prove to Kendra that she should get back with me because she'll know that if I cheat on her with other girls in the future, I'll make sure I don't get any of them pregnant. Please welcome to the stage, Kevin. Boo, 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 he's walking in, everybody's booing him. Boo, boo, Kevin, boo. Kendra, you know I'm not the father of that fucking baby. I know you fucking are. You're a fucking piece of shit. How dare you try to deny this fucking baby when you know for a fact that there's a very good chance that, that could be your child. Look, Kendra, I pulled out every time that I had sex with Ariel while I was dating you out of respect for our relationship. I would never get her pregnant. What? Kevin, you need to stop worrying about me and focus on what you actually should have came here to focus on, which is the fact that you might have a child. And if that is your fucking child, you need to step up to the plate and be a fucking man. Grow up. Take care of your fucking child and your responsibility. Take accountability for your actions for once. That is not my fucking child, Ariel. Yes, the fuck it is. How dare you look me in the eye? Look at him. Look, he looks exactly like you. He looks nothing the fuck like me. You're just a whore and you want my fucking money. What fucking money? You don't have any goddamn money. I'm only getting money from your fucking parents. They're gonna be garnishing their fucking paycheck because you can't afford shit, you broke ass piece of motherfucker. That child does not belong to me, Ariel. You can keep saying that over and over again. It's not gonna change the fact that those paternity results are in and they are going to stay up. Otherwise, and you're going to have to step up to the plate and take care of your child. You fucking bitch, you'll never get a cent out of me. You ruined my relationship. You tore me and Kendra apart. I'm not the one who tore shit apart. You're the one who made a vow. You made a promise to that woman that you would be fucking faithful to her, and you didn't. It doesn't matter that you cheated on her with me or any other bitch. You still fucking cheated. So what you can do is stop blaming the world for all your fucking problems when they were all created by you. All right, everybody, settle down. We have one more candidate to meet. Everybody, this is Derek's story.
Ariel knows good and fucking well that Daniel is my child. Me and Ariel had sex without a condom two times, not just the once that she pretends we did. Daniel looks just like me. He has dark eyes, whereas Kevin and Ariel both have blue eyes. If that was really his child, then Daniel would have blue eyes. There's no way anybody but me is the father of that baby. The only reason why Ariel wants to pretend that Kevin is the father is because she wanted me to leave my girlfriend for her while we were hooking up and I refused to. My my girlfriend Elsa has been with me through thick and thin and we're not gonna let something so small like me cheating on her and subsequently having an illegitimate child with a fish woman tear us apart. Derek is my man and there is nothing in this world that could come between us. He told me the only reason he cheated on me in the first place was because I wasn't being attentive enough to his needs and he's reassured me that if he ever cheats on me again in the future it will only be because I wasn't being a good enough girlfriend which I'm gonna make sure to be from now on. Ariel is a dirty fucking bitch with crabs in her pubic hair, but luckily the frozen walls in my vagina immediately kill all sexually transmitted bacteria that gets inside. However, because of this condition, I cannot birth a child, and being a mother has been my dream since I was a little girl. That's how I know that this is destiny. Derek cheating on me and getting another woman pregnant was in God's plan for me this whole time. Once we find out that once and for all, Derek is Daniel's father, he can come live with us, and I can be his mom. And unlike that redheaded demon, I'll be an excellent one. Please welcome Derek and Elsa. That's his baby. No, the fuck it isn't. That's his baby. No, it isn't. That's his fucking baby. That's his baby. And soon it's gonna be my fucking baby. You'll never lay a frozen fucking finger on my child, you fucking bitch. Bitch, you're mad. Bitch, you're mad. Mad about what? Who's mad? You're mad, bitch. You're mad that he chose me. Oh, what if that don't matter? Yes, the fuck it does. It does matter. He chose me. I was picked. I was chose. Just like Disney chose to recast you as a fucking black girl. She looks way better than you, ho. Bitch, shut the- Oh, 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 Kendra, what are you even doing here? You're defending her? She's the one who fucked your boyfriend and took him from you. Uh, excuse me? She didn't take anybody from me. I broke up with his ass by my own volition because unlike you, Elsa, I'm not a weak-ass motherfucker. Do you really have that little dignity, Elsa? That little self-respect that you're gonna stay there with that fucking man who doesn't love you from a fucking hole in the wall? You can't be criticizing anybody else when you go home every night to that. To that piece of shit right there. That motherfucker that's just waiting for the moment to toss you out. He's gonna find a new pretty little fucking young thing that's gonna come along and let him treat her the same way that you fucking let him treat you. Because that's all he knows how to do. The only reason he holds on to your ass is because of the fact that he knows you're gonna sit there and put up with whatever bullshit he brings to the fucking table, which is nothing. And then you wanna come up here and act all big and bad, bitch? Nobody's scared of you. You're the weakest fucking woman I've ever seen in my entire life. You're a fucking lightning rod. You let that man treat you whatever fucking way he wants to treat you. So don't ever talk to me. You better watch your fucking tone with me, Kendra. Oh, you wanna step up? You wanna step up? Come on, hit me, hit me then, bitch. Hit me. I do, you don't wanna see how I'm gonna fucking do you. Bitch, hit me. Come fight me then, bitch. Fight me, fight me. Yeah, that's what the fuck I thought. Yeah, go sit down, pussy ass bitch. That's what the fuck I thought. Derek, do you really want this baby to be yours? It's not that I want the baby to be mine. It's that I know that baby is fucking mine. Look at that baby. It looks exactly the fuck like me. That's a fa I look at that and I see myself. I look at that picture and I see blood. Well, we're about to find out once and for all because the paternity results are in. When it comes to three-day-old Daniel, Derek, you are not the father. What? No way! No! It can't be See, bitch, I told you, you won't ever get the chance to be in any close proximity to my fucking child, just like you're not allowed to be in any kind of close proximity to your other four children who got taken away by CPS, you fucking rancid sack of shit piece of shit ass bitch. Fuck you, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to rehab right after I leave this show, and I'm going to get my kids back, and we're gonna be a happy family, unlike you, bitch. The results of Derek's lie detector test are also in. Derek, we asked you, other than Ariel, have you ever cheated on Elsa with anybody else? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie over 20 women and 5 men. <laughs> Derek, we asked you if you truly love Elsa. You said yes. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Get away from me, Derek! Get away from me, Derek! I don't wanna... Babe, babe, come on, babe, babe. 
babe, you know me. Babe, I love you. Babe, the only reason I cheated all those times were on the days when you were being a bad girlfriend. You know that, babe. Sometimes you don't do my dishes for me. Come on, babe. No, Derek, I can't do this anymore. You came all the way here. We came here and you made me make a fool of myself. They all think I'm a fool now. Yes, I thought you loved me. Who were the men, Derek? Who were the men you had sex with? I had sex with Kevin. <laughs> when it comes to three-day-old Daniel, you are not the father either. Uh, Kendra, do you want me back? No. <laughs> Okay, Ariel. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out who the father is. <laughs> it had to be. It had to be one of them. It had to be Kendra. It can't be him. <laughs> it can't be him, Kendra. Fucking cut! I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Give me my meth right now. I want my meth. I'm not going to rehab. You know what? Fine then, bitch. I can't help you if you're not gonna help yourself. I was just trying to be nice, but clearly all you can think about is yourself and your own instant gratification. And quite frankly, Ariel, it's not my problem. You're the one who has five children waiting for you to step up to the plate and be a mother to them. And time and time again, you continue to let them down because you choose yourself every fucking time. If that's really what you want, Ariel, then go knock yourself the fuck out. You can go back to that Section 8 apartment complex for the two more weeks before you get a big and you can go hang out with the cockroaches under your fridge and the bed bugs in your mattress instead of your children. You cracked out dirty ass hoe. Bye. Wait, Kendra, no, please, please. Please what? Kendra, I need help. I, I, I'll go to rehab. I'll do anything. I'm sorry. I, I'm just not me anymore. What have I done to myself? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the Bela Town Behavioral and Substance Abuse Rehabilitation Center. My name is Leona. How may I assist you? Hello. My friend here needs to get into rehab because she's a meth addict who fucks every man who gives her a slight amount of attention. Do you have any openings? We sure do. May I ask what kind of queer she is? Queer? What do you mean what kind of queer she is? Well, this rehabilitation center is only designed for members of the LGBTQIABCDFU community. We like to know which letter each member falls underneath before we start the paperwork. Wait, so you have to be some kind of gay in order to get into rehab? Th that's fucking ridiculous. Well, if she isn't queer, she can certainly go to the straight people rehab down the street. The food isn't as good, and it's mostly full of Republican men who are trying to stop beating their wives, but I mean to each their own. You know what? I actually am a lesbian. But didn't she just say that you have sex with every man who gives you attention? What, how could you be a lesbian? See, that's exactly my problem. I do so many drugs that the drugs turn me straight and make me have sex with men. Hmm, that sounds kind of fishy, no pun intended. I think I need to see some more proof. What kind of proof? Well, I suppose if I were to see you actually make out with a woman, you could prove to me that you are in fact a queer. What, why do I have to prove that I'm gay anyway? What kind of queer are you? I'm a transgender woman. Oh my gosh, really? I had no idea. You passed so well. Flattery will not get you through the door, strawberry shortcake. I need to see some girl-on-girl -girl action or you're not checking into this facility. Kendra... You have to do me the biggest favor in the world. You're not seriously about to ask me what I think you are, are you, Kendra? Please, you've got to do this for me. This is the only way for me to get better. God damn it, fine. Well, I gotta say, that was uh, pretty fucking gay. Welcome aboard, Ariel. Follow me over here. Thank you, Kendra. You're such a lifesaver. Oh my gosh. I swear to God, if I go home and I start seeing mouse whores, I'm going to come back up here and beat the fuck out of you, bitch. Hello, how can I help you, ma'am? Yeah, could you explain to me why the fuck my burger doesn't have any ketchup on it? Did you not ask for no ketchup? I wanted extra ketchup, and I did not ask for it. I ordered it, which means that I expect it to be on my sandwich because I'm a paying customer, and it's what I deserve because I paid for it. Actually, I have your order pulled up right here, and not only does it say you specifically wanted no ketchup, but it's a mobile order. Like, you had to place it yourself. I don't give a fuck. I want my extra ketchup. I want my food that I meant to order. Fix it! Okay, well, we'd be far more than happy to remake it for you. That's it. Would you like a refund instead? I want the burger remade, and I want a full refund on my order. Unfortunately, ma'am, I can only provide you with one of those solutions. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I... No? So you're gonna just gonna treat me like this? Me? A paying customer? You're gonna treat me like this? Uh, yep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm... You're evil. You're Satan. <laughs> Uh, how could you? How dare you? How could you do this to me? What, what kind of demonic entity are you? I, I, I can't even look at you. I 
<laughs> Ma'am, like I said, we are more than happy to either remake the sandwich or give you a refund. We want to make this a better experience for you, but unfortunately, we cannot. You both. Fuck you, cunt. Get the fuck out of my face. Where is your manager? Ma'am, the manager is going to tell you the exact same thing. I don't care about anything you else. You have to say you're such a fucking liar. Just go get your fucking manager. You know what? I'll grab them. They'll be right over. What seems to be the problem here, ma'am? Hello, the woman who was working the register just now was being extremely aggressive, dismissive, and disrespectful to me, all because I asked for my burger to be properly remade. I would like a new burger as well as a refund. You know what? Actually, ma'am, I have a better solution for you since we can't seem to accommodate you appropriately. How about you take that burger that you ordered yourself and shove it up your own ass so you don't have to taste the lack of tomato paste on your bullshit, you entitled little bitch. Excuse me? Oh, pardon me if you couldn't hear me before. Let me be a little bit more clear this time. <laughs> Shove your burger up your ass, you stupid fucking bitch. What gives you any right to talk to me like that? Do you know who I am? No, and I don't want to either. I am literally the third most famous Ariana Grande cosplayer on TikTok. I am literally almost a celebrity. So watch your tone with me. You work at McDonald's, and bitch, you eat at McDonald's. How about them apple slices? By yourself on a Friday night, might I add, all dressed up and dolled up to impress nobody. Bitch, you're not even McDonald's level, bougie. You are the Ariana Grande we have at home. You got all that fucking internet money, and you're in here crying over $8 because because your dumb ass doesn't know how to read a fucking online menu. Go fuck yourself, you twat flapping ass hoe. So that's really just it then, Gary? You're just gonna walk away from everything we built together. You're the one who decided to walk away from us so you can lay down with another man, Sarah. That's not the point, Gary. I made a mistake. That doesn't mean you could just leave and tear our family apart like this. You won't even try to make this work. Oh, don't you even dare try that shit on me. I tried to make this work. The first time you cheated on me, Sarah, I stayed. I stayed right here and I stayed faithful. You fucking know that. We went to counseling. I thought we could move past it. I did everything I could to keep this family together. You still threw it all away. You expect me to stay with someone who has sex with my own brother while I'm at work? I'm not saying I expect you to stay. I'm saying you would stay if you really loved me, Gary. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have put me through what you put me through. If you really loved the kids, you wouldn't be putting them through what you're putting them through right now. You're the one who's putting them through this. I know I'm a good father to those girls and nothing's ever gonna change that. But that doesn't mean I have to spend the rest of my life with someone like you. Our children are not pawns in your little game of chess, Sarah. And I'm sick of you using them to manipulate me. Well, you know what? Fine then, asshole. You wanna leave? Leave! Get out of here! I'm the one who paid for this house. Everything in it. I'll come and go as I goddamn please. Anna Lynn isn't even your child. I cheated on you the same time I got pregnant. You listen here, you conniving fucking monster. You can take everything I have. You can play me for a fool as many times as you can get away with. But don't you ever in your fucking life look at me and tell me that's not my fucking daughter. I've raised that little girl since she was the size of my palm. I am her father and I always will be her father no matter what. You know that little girl looks nothing like you. I've known that since the moment she came out. But I've loved her all the same because she still deserves a father. And Lord knows the men you decide to sleep with don't even know what that word means. Get out! No, daddy. No, daddy. Daddy, please don't leave, not again. Listen, sweetheart, Daddy isn't going to be here as much for a little while, but I promise he loves you just as much as he always has. I want to live with you, Daddy. I don't want to live with Mommy anymore. I'm so sorry, sweetie, but it's what the courts decided. Yeah, only because she had sex with the judge like the classless fucking hoe she is. Excuse me? What did you just say, Melody? I called you a classless hoe because that's exactly what you are, you dirty rundown bitch. I'm your mother, Melody. You need to learn some fucking respect. Respect is something that's earned shit stain. You treat others how you want to fucking be treated. Do you walk around here treating everybody else like shit? You have to live with me whether or not you like it. So you better learn some fucking respect. Not when I walk in that courtroom myself and tell the state exactly the type of fucking person you are, Sarah. Your lives will only take you so far before they run out of mileage. And yours are almost as ran through as your community snatch. And then you have the audacity to look this man in the eye and say he's not Anna Lynn's father because he's not. You are disgusting, Mrs. Hansen. Oh, really? because your man doesn't seem to think that I'm disgusting. My man is your 19-year-old student. This isn't even about me anymore. It's absolutely reprehensible that you think it's appropriate to be sleeping with a boy less than half your age, let alone one that you have such direct influence over. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself because you weren't woman enough to please your man. Oh, really? Is that why he confessed to me the moment he was finished with you? Crying at my knees, begging for me to forgive him. I'm his forever lady. You were just one night of curiosity. Oh, really? Is that so? Oh, Travis, she's gone. You can come out now. 
Oh my gosh, that was so close. You know we can't let her see us. Ah! Kelsey! Travis, what the fuck? Baby, I swear it's not what it looks like. Travis, why her? She's disgusting, baby. I never meant to hurt you like this. You know what, Travis? I'm done trying to help you. You're hurting yourself at the end of the day. So if you really want to sneak behind my back and be with that silicone gremlin over there, you can knock yourself out. But I'm done. Baby, she doesn't mean a thing to me. You're the most important thing to me in this world. I swear to God. Then why are you sleeping with her? Because I... I can't tell you. Really, Travis? That's all you got after a whole year together? We're gonna end like this? Baby, I love you. Clearly not as much as I loved you. Goodbye, Travis. Kelsey, no! Really, Mrs. Hansen? Are you happy with yourself now? I am, actually. Now that she's out of the way, we can pick up where we left off, hot stuff. You know what? I'm not doing this anymore, Mrs. Hansen. I've done everything you said. I've lied to my girlfriend, to the school board, to my family for you, and this is how you repay me? I'm leaving and I'm not coming back. <laughs> As if. You, you already know if you step foot out that door, you aren't passing any of your classes with me this semester. You know what? I don't care anymore. You told me you were going to pass me the first time I slept with you, and then it was the second time, and then it was the third, and now there isn't going to be a fourth. Fine, then. Good luck affording that extra semester with no financial aid, you broke little maggot. I can find another way. I don't need your help. Oh, <laughs> I can just see it already. All the possible outcomes. What will it be, Travis? Will you go to your mommy and daddy pleading with tears in your eyes for them to use their putrid retirement savings from running that underperforming cake shop to save you? Perhaps you'll pick up some extra shifts at the local Burger King along with your current job and still not even have half to pay for it. I own you, bitch. Now go lay back down on that table if you know what's good for you. Come here. I'll give you everything you need. No! I, Kelsey, come back! You can't keep doing this to me, Peter. You know I'm in love with you and you take me for granted every time you walk away like this. You knew what this was from the beginning, Ariel. It's not my fault that you got caught up in your head and made this situation into something that it's not. But you made me think it was different this time. Peter, you're the love of my life. And I'm sorry, Ariel, but you're not the love of mine. So this is really just that then, Peter? You're just gonna run back to that bitch for the thousandth time? That bitch is my wife. Don't you dare disrespect her. You're the one who's disrespecting her every time you call me in the middle of the night telling me you want me. Ariel, you are something I want, but you're not something that I need. I need my wife. I need my family. And I really need you to stop getting in the way of that. So that's all this was to you, Peter? After all we've been through together, you really could just look me cold, dead in the eye and tell me there's nothing here? That I'm just delusional that you never love me. I never said I don't love you, Ariel. I just don't love you enough. Not enough to give up what I already have. Peter, I love you. I would do anything to make this work. You know what, Ariel? Maybe we should just end this for good then. Because there's plenty of other men out there for you and I can't keep sneaking around and lying to my wife like this. Goodbye. Actually, Peter, maybe you should stay with her. <gasps> Lois, what are you doing here? Peter, don't play dumb with me. I know what you've been doing. I see you sneaking out at night and coming home smelling like fish. Do you think I was born yesterday? Lois, I'm so sorry. Save your apologies, Peter, because I have something to tell you. Lois... What are you talking about? Peter, I've been sleeping with another man and I'm leaving you for him. Lois, what? You can't leave me? Sure she can. <gasps> Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, you're sleeping with my wife? I sure am, Tubby, and soon she's gonna be my wife. Not if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> Vegeta, no! <laughs> I can't hold on much longer, Lois. You got the best of me. No, Vichy, you gotta hold on. Vichy, Peter, what did you do? I had to kill him, Lois. I just, I just couldn't do it. I just... I've told you multiple times you are not welcome in my house, so I don't know what the fuck you think you're doing here. I came over here to get, get child support from my husband. Child support for what? Your children who got taken away from you? I'll have you know I just got my children back last week, so yes, I do need my child support payments that I'm entitled to. So unless you want me to take this to court, I suggest you step to the side, ho. Oh, bitch, you're not gonna call me a hoe with all the different types of STIs you've got. I'll have you know I contracted over half of those STIs from your good-for-nothing-ass fucking man when he was cheating on me during our marriage. 
damage. Just like how he's fucking around on you right now all the same. You're just lucky you're immune to them because you still got that washed up fish snatch. Girl, with the amount of men you run through, how is he even supposed to know that those are his kids? I took the other men that I slept with on Mori, and not one of them were the dad. So he's the only one left who could possibly be. Honestly, he should be excited about the children he already does have, considering that if he has any with you, they're gonna come out fucking ginger. If I were you, I wouldn't be talking shit about other people's hair, red vines. Oh, you mean my iconic red vines? Girl, you want a beanie so fucking bad and you couldn't even get the hair color right. Who said I want to be you? Just because you got replaced doesn't mean I want to be you, bitch. There's a reason why you were replaced, and there's a reason why I have Beyonce's cosign. Yeah, bitch, and I have Walt Disney's cosign. Oh, yeah, sure, even though he died 20 years before your movie even went in production, that's what you think because they didn't bother to give you access code to the freezer because you're not special. At the end of the day, bitch, you're really just mad because I stole your job and I stole your man. If you stole my man, then how come we had sex three nights ago? Excuse me? Three nights ago, we had sex in your bed, bitch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are you fucking kidding me, Eric? You're still fucking around with that nasty, cracked out ass thought? Babe, it was just a couple times. I mean, she was my first love. Get the fuck out of my house. This is my house, too. Not anymore. It's not you, piece of shit. I can't believe I ever trusted you. Baby, she's not what I want. You know she's not what I want. Clearly, she is what you want. If you want to run around fucking her dirty ass expired self, as a matter of fact, you should go be with her. Go take care of your children, Eric, and leave me the fuck alone so I can find a real man. Yeah, well, I don't want his ass either. All I want is that child support check. You can give it to me via wire transfer, Venmo, cash. I don't give a shit how I get my money, but I want it by tomorrow morning or I am taking you to court, you sorry motherfucker. You're gonna need to prove to me that all of those kids are mine before you get a set out of me, slut. I'm the slut, but you're the one who's still having sex with the slut every time she calls you up, so what about it? As a matter of fact, watch this, Miss Live Action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bitch! Get the fuck out the- Oh yeah! Hello there, Gary. Welcome to Compass Health. My name is Melissa, and I'm your new therapist. It's very nice to meet you, Melissa. I've been thinking about getting into therapy for quite some time now. That's sick! So what did you want to talk about? Well, I guess for starters, a while back I discovered my wife was cheating on me, and during the divorce proceeding she was awarded custody of our two daughters. I live alone now, and I've just been struggling to cope. I miss the girls, I miss my wife, or I suppose who I thought she was. I just miss my life, I guess. I, I don't know how to go forward. My mind's gone to some dark places. I, I honestly didn't think it would ever go back to, and I realized I needed help, so here I am. That sucks. Um, yeah. So do you have, like, any advice for me or questions or... Oh, yeah, advice. Um, so basically, I think that cheating is pretty wrong. You know, there's never really a reason to do... Okay, well, so I cheated on one of my boyfriends. Which, okay, well, two of them. It was like, okay, I was with two dudes at the same time. And basically, one of them walked in while I was banging the other one. And he was, like, really mad. And they started getting into a fist fight. And Loki was kind of hot watching them fight over me. So I just kind of let them do it. And then I started getting kind of wet. It, it, at some point, it turned into a three-way. I was doing a lot of acid at the time. I don't really remember. It was college. But anyways, my mom walked in. And she was like, why are you banging two dudes in my bed? And I was like, well, mom, you banged two dudes at the same time once. And, like, that's why she didn't even know who my dad was for a really long time. I mean, like, do you have any questions about me? Yeah. Okay, so are you going to ask the questions? What do you use for your hair? Um, gel? Who did your wife cheat on you with? My brother. Oh, well, that's kind of sweet, isn't it? Don't you think? I, it means she wanted to be with somebody who reminds her of you. What? Honestly, I think you're being a little bit too hard on her, Gary. After all, women are biologically predisposed to be impregnated by as many men at once as possible. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, great. Now are you going to mansplain cheating to me? Who's the professional doctor here, Gary? You know what? Thank you very much for your time, Melissa, but... I think I should maybe look for a more compatible therapist. Wait, Gary, no! You know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there's other fish in the sea for you. Do you have any crushes right now? I mean, not really. You know, the only other woman I've ever been in love with was my high school girlfriend, Kendra. I know she probably lives nearby, but I haven't seen her in years. That's my one that got away. Oh, you mean Kendra Higginson? Um, yes. Wait, do you know her? Yeah, I do. She's that bitchy McDonald's manager up the street who never gives me free food no matter how much I scream at her. Wait, so you mean to tell me that Kendra Higginson is the manager at the McDonald's up the street? Yeah, actually, I think she's there right now. I went to go harass her before I came to work today. I'm still getting paid, right? 
Derek! Oh, crap! Elsa, I didn't know you were home! Derek, what are you doing? Me, bitch! <gasps> Oh, Elsa, you're sleeping with him again? Yup, it's me, and we've already done it three times in your bed today. Oh, and you're proud of that? What do you gain from sleeping with my fiancé? He took me to McDonald's. Really? He took you to McDonald's, so you slept with him? Yup, yup, and I was riding it while I was eating a McFlurry. You are such a slut. That's okay. Oh, you think that's okay? Yup, I'm a slut, and it's perfectly fine. It didn't stop your man from wanting a taste. You were a clown, ho, Elsa. Oh, I'm the clown. Huh? Well, you're Boo Boo the Fool then because you're the one who still stays with this man even though he's cheated with 20 other women and 5 men. And that's just what you know about. At this point, you have a lot of audacity to even be getting upset because you already know what the fuck's going on. He doesn't love you. He loves me. That's okay because I got what I wanted. I got my lunch, my ice cream, and my quarter powder deluxe meal combo. And what did you get, Elsa? Cheated on? Really, Derek? You got her a quarter powder? You've only ever gotten me a McDouble. No, baby, it's not like that. Come on. No, it is like that, Derek. You got her a quarter pounder with cheese. Bitch. Look at you, Elsa. Who's the clown now? You look like a fool. A goddamn fool. You're pathetic. Over here fighting over that good-for-nothing ass man you know doesn't give a shit about you. And now take a gander at yourself. You got cheated on and you got your ass beat. Baby, come here. Come here, baby. I promise. I'm so sorry. I won't cheat on you again, at least for the rest of the week. You promise, Derek? I promise, baby girl. And just as I predicted. Girl, I don't even know how you still stand up with no spine in your back. You're really just gonna go and crawl back to that that motherfucker knowing damn well he's just gonna dog you all over again? That's what you think because you don't really know him. But I do. That's why I trust him. He's had a hard life. His middle school girlfriend cheated on him and that's the only reason he struggles to stay faithful to me. Okay, well when you get home early from work next week and he's railing me on the sofa all over again while I'm balls deep in a Big Mac, I don't want to hear you crying about it again. Don't worry, baby girl. She means nothing to me. Let's get you to bed. Come on. I'll meet you at the parking ride next. Hi, I'm Kendra from Bela Town, here to notify you that Bela's new EP, Bleach, comes out on July 5th, available for pre-save now at the link in the bio. Here's a clip. What do you want, you little brat? I just want some food. I don't give a flying fuck what you want. Mom, please, me and Anna Lynn haven't eaten in over two days. We're hungry. Go make yourself some food. I'm six years old. I don't know how to make food. Well, it's not my problem, you little bitch. You're lucky I'm even letting you live in my house rent-free after how disrespectful you've been to me. Okay, let's make one thing very fucking clear. You are a grown-ass woman, Sarah. And the fact that you would let some petty bullshit stop you from taking the most basic care of your own children says a lot about your character. And look, I don't give a fuck if you have a problem. With me. I don't give a fuck what you think of me, but I'm entitled to the basic necessities that you are legally inclined to provide me with. The least you could possibly do, the very least, is take care of that three-year-old girl over there who hasn't done shit to nobody. The fact you're letting her lay in that bed starving while you're cooped up in the next room having sex with your brother-in-law, it's repulsive. How do you even look yourself in the mirror, Sarah? I'll have you know I look in the mirror just fine. It's not my fault that I'm beautiful and you came out an oversized poly pocket with crooked teeth. Oh, bitch, I know you're not trying to talk about how I look when you walk around looking like that with that Justin Bieber ass haircut down to the foundation two shades dark for your skin and that tired ass neon get him. looks like you stole it out the dumpster of a trailer park girl what the fuck is this ho Livia Newton John now you listen here Melody you need to watch your toe when you speak to your mother oh I'm sorry who the fuck are you you already know I'm your uncle Frankie and soon I'm gonna be your stepdad Melody so you need to get used to listening to what I have to say I won't listen to a goddamn thing you have to say because you're not my dad you'll never be my fucking dad I know you've spent your entire life trying to be the man, but it's just not gonna happen for you. You don't have the material, Frankie. All you have is three scratch tickets in your pocket, an overdrafted bank account, and a criminal record. I would sit this one out if I were you. Go to your room, Melody. Actually, she's coming with me. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? My name is Leona with Child Protective Services, and I've come to take your kids away. Yeah, bitch. I bet you didn't think I would call CPS on your ass. They have all your teeth, Sarah, because I faxed over 20 documents chronicled your abusive and negligent parenting methods with copious amounts of evidence. Say your last prayer, Sarah, because mark my words, you will pay for the shit you've done. You're not taking my kids. Oh, you want to fuck around and find out, bitch? Let's go. Oh, 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 o
I am tired of debating this with you, and I demand a refund. And I demand you retire that 90s ass bob cut you haven't bothered to switch up since 1999. You're not getting a damn thing out of me. This burger is way too big for my body. How am I supposed to eat it? I have no clue, but that's your own problem, Mrs. Griffin. You're the action figure that decided to come into a Barbie restaurant. We can't just change the size of our burgers to accommodate your little ass frame. I can't even fit this in my mouth. Well, you certainly have no trouble fitting your big-bodied husband inside your mouth, so maybe you need to just work that jaw a little more. Oh, you go to hell. Bet y'all see you there. Next. Hello, welcome to McDonald's, man. Gary? Hi, Kendra. It's been a long time, hasn't it? A long time is an understatement. I, how are you? How's your family? Well, Kendra, Sarah and I actually aren't together anymore. Oh no, really? I can't believe- wait, so you're single now? I, it's, I'm so sorry. Yeah, she cheated on me with my brother. But it's okay, she wasn't the one for me anyways. Well, you're not alone. I just got cheated on recently too by my douchebag ex. And with Ariel of all people. Oh, so you're single too then? Yeah, I, I am actually. Well, you know, Kendra, I was thinking maybe we could catch up sometime, you know? Just you and me, we could go to Anthony's home port. I'll front the bill. Gary, I love to, but I just... You just what? Gary, it was hard enough to lose you the first time. That was my first heartbreak, and it, it hurt like no other one I've experienced since. I just... I don't think I can go through that again. But Kendra, you know it wasn't my fault. I know it wasn't your fault, but what if it isn't your fault again this time? At this point in my life, I, I just don't know if I can even trust myself anymore. And Gary, that's just the type of heartbreak time could never mend. It still has it. I, I just got to work on myself for now. Wow. Okay, Kendra, I mean, if that's really what you need, I, I understand, you know. But um, I'll, I'll see you around, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Bye, Kendra. Gary, wait! You can pick me up from here. Friday at 8. How does that sound? It sounds perfect. You bet your bottom dollar I'll be there. I'll see you then, Kendra. I knew it, Kurt! I knew you were a fucking cheater! This is what you do? What do you mean? Is this what I do? Is this what you do while I'm at work? Hooking up with another man in our living room while our daughter is here? That's not our daughter, that's your daughter, Tasha. Don't even start with me right now. Yes, she's my daughter from when I was married previously, but when you decided to get shacked up with me, you knew she was a part of the deal. I'm sick and tired of you trying to force me into being her father just because her real one killed himself. Wow, that's low, Kurt. To bring that up in front of this little girl who's already been struggling enough? And it doesn't matter how the fuck you feel about her. I don't appreciate you bringing other people around her in my house. And I especially don't appreciate you trying to sleep with other men while she's sitting in the next room, you fucking Go ahead. Say it. Say what? Say what you were about to say. What were you about to call me? I was about to call you a freak. Oh yeah, I'm so sure that's what you were about to say. You want to call me all types of shit and names? As if you didn't just have your hoe ass friends here last week doing lines of coke in front of your daughter as well? It doesn't matter what the fuck I do or what the fuck I did. You're still wrong as hell for what you're doing to me. And you're wrong as hell for fucking around with that Fruit Loop ass himbo over there. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you just call me? I called you a Fruit Loop ass himbo because quite frankly, that's the nicest thing I could have called you at this moment in time. You nasty, trashy, whack ass bitch. How are you going to call me nasty? Nasty girl, you're fucking nasty. What's nasty is showing up to somebody else's house to get bent over and penetrated by another man while his stepdaughter is one room away watching Spongebob. You got a lot of fucking audacity to even be looking me in the eye right now, Eric. You know what I think? I think you're just a homophobic ass bitch. You know what? You may just be right about that then because you sure are very fucking scary. And that's why I want you out of my house right now. I don't have a problem with how you live your life, but I do have a problem when you want to fuck with my man. What you really should be doing is going back to your ex-wife to help her raise those five fucking children you don't even take care of, you sorry deadbeat piece of shit. Those children are not mine. Oh, really? Then whose are they, Eric? I know those children aren't mine. You want to know how I know how? Because, Tasha, I'm transgender. You're what? I'm a transgender man, Tasha. There's no way I could be the father of those children. But I will tell you another secret. I'm pregnant with your husband's child. You're... Pregnant with my husband's child? Yes, I sure the fuck am. I need a moment. 
First and foremost, Eric, I wanted to say congratulations on your journey. It takes a lot of courage to be in your situation. I'm beyond ecstatic that you've made the decision for yourself to be happy and come out on the other side of the man you are today. And second of all, bitch, you are not fucking pregnant with my husband's child. Listen, you need to calm the fuck down. Oh, you want to tell me what the fuck I need to do, motherfucker? Let me tell you what the fuck you need to do is pay a visit to Planned Parenthood and have them vacuum that shit the fuck out of you. You got me fucked up if you think I'm going to sit idly by and watch my husband father another man's child. How dare you? Even say I'm not aborting my fucking baby. Well, you know what? Fine then. You can take that motherfucker out there with you because I'm not doing this. Hold on, hold on baby. Please don't do this. I'm like, no, don't baby me, motherfucker. You got another baby to worry about. Get the fuck out of my house. Both of you nasty fucking trash bags. Don't ever come here again. Get the fuck. So you were just not going to tell me that you were pregnant, Lisa? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody told me. I got a voicemail from the doctor's office. You've been pregnant four months already and you've been going to ultrasounds without me? What the hell, Lisa? Dustin, I didn't tell you for a reason. What reason could you possibly have for not warning me we're about to have another kid? It's been hard enough raising Alex. We need to save money. I didn't tell you I was pregnant because you're not the one who's going to raise the baby. Lisa, what are you talking about? Of course I'm going to raise my child. I'm not pregnant with your child. Did you cheat on me, Lisa? I didn't just cheat on you, Dustin. I'm leaving you for another man and I've been planning to for a very long time. Lisa... I thought we were fine. We were until I got tired of living off of your $20 an hour in welfare checks. I found a man who can actually provide for me. What do you mean I don't provide for you? I keep the bills on. I buy her son everything he needs. You can't even afford to take me out to dinner more than once a month. Well, then who is it, Lisa? Whose baby are you pregnant with? She's pregnant with my child. Dad? Are you fucking kidding me right now, Dustin? I've been sleeping with your wife since I moved in. Really? You been fucking my wife? You're proud of that shit? I didn't say I was proud of anything. You need to stop jumping to conclusions like you always do. And you need to get the hell away from me before I bash your fucking face in. You better think twice before you talk to me like that, you little brat. I'll cut you out of that inheritance in a heartbeat. I don't give a damn about that little penthouse you'll be the owner of when your mother passes away. I've always known you were a sorry piece of shit, and I don't need shit from you. Fuck you. So that's what you're leaving me for? You're mad that I can't provide for you, apparently, but you're gonna run off with that deadbeat fuckface who hasn't had a proper job in 20 years? His mom is gonna pass any day now. It doesn't matter if he has nothing at the moment because he's gonna sell that house for over $2 million. Lisa, you can't just do this to our family. You can't just do this to our baby. That's our little Alex. I have something else to tell you, Dustin. Alex might not be yours either. You don't mean that. Yes, I sure the fuck do. Because the same time I got pregnant, I had sex with your brother. Sebastian? That's your brother, isn't it? Yeah, we slept together multiple times. Excuse me? You didn't tell me that you'd slept with Sebastian? It happened before we ever got together, Don. Don't worry about it. No, actually, I think I will worry about it. You got me fucked up if you think I'm going to be with somebody who my son slept with. What the hell are you even talking about? You had no problem sleeping with me knowing that I was married to your other son. Me and Dustin are nowhere near as close as I am with Sebastian. That's completely different. Well, if you love Sebastian so much more than me, then why don't you go live at his fucking house? Shut your fucking mouth. Taking me in is the least you could do for me. I housed you and fed you for 18 years straight. Yeah, because I was a child. You're the one who decided to bring me into this world. I don't have to repay you for shit. Sebastian, you should be ashamed of yourself. You knew I was sleeping with Lisa and you didn't even bother to tell me that you're the father of her firstborn? That's disgusting. What's the difference if her firstborn's child's father is me or your other son? You're the one who's still about to have a baby whose brother is biologically his uncle as well. You're disgusting for bringing that into the world in the first place. How are you going to call me disgusting when you're the sexual predator who is letting your own brother raise your child for you? Listen, I've had enough of this shit. Dad, if you want to bring up the fact that Sebastian is a predator, you're about 15 years too late. You've known Sebastian was a predator from the time he was my age and you covered it up for him every time the evidence was piling. You knew what he was doing to other boys and girls at that school. You knew what he was doing talking to high schoolers on kick when he was 22. And a few weeks ago he DM'd explicit messages to my boyfriend who just turned 18 years old. You turned a blind eye to all that and now you want to use it to deflect from your own actions? 
It really shows your true colors. What all you motherfuckers need to do right now is get the fuck out of Dustin's house. Because you've done enough damage and the rest of your issues can be sorted out elsewhere. Angelica, thank you for your help, but please go to your room. I can deal with them on my own. I'm a grown man. You can't just do this to all of us, Dustin. I'm your wife. That's your nephew, your brother, your dad. We're your family, regardless of what we've done. I don't believe in the word family anymore. The only person I'm related to who seems to give a damn about me is my little sister. I've never in my life been betrayed like this by any of you. Now, if you would like to, you can leave that baby here because nothing, not even this, is going to change the way I love that child. But as for the rest of you, you can get the hell out of my house and get the hell out of my life for good. Why can't I play with you guys? Zeke, I played with you at recess three days in a row. And Melody doesn't like you because you stole the assigned seat she wanted. Why don't you just go play with the other boys anyway? I'll tell you why he doesn't. It's because they don't like your ass either. Melody, you need to back off. It's not my fault you show up 15 seconds before the bell every day. I got to that seat before you fair and square. That's not the point, Zeke. You knew good and fucking well that I wanted that desk because I told you the day before. And you made it a point to show up early that day and take it. Yes, I did. The only reason you wanted that desk was that you could aim spitballs at Mrs. Mayfield. Yes, I did because she's a fucking bitch. She's not a bitch, Melody. She's even nicer than our kindergarten teacher. You're only saying that because she treats you like a fucking teacher's pet. Now step away from me with that fuckboy haircut your mom gave you to make you look more like the man who left her. Girl, you shouldn't talk about my hair when you have that wind sweat mess on top of your skull. Oh, really? Yes, really. I know exactly what you think you're doing with that fuck-ass bob cut. You think you're serving 2015 Taylor Swift, but it's really just giving Kelly Highland. You look like your trashy-ass mom is what you look like. Oh, you want to speak on my mother? Yes, I do, actually. Because she's a whack-ass bitch with a fat-ass ego, and that's where you learn to act all fucking big and bad like you're about to do something, Melody. Okay, well, while we're at it, why don't we talk about your deadbeat, strung-out-ass daddy, who I just saw last week when I went to Fred Meyer, trying to shoplift a microwave before he got caught and overdosed in front of the deli. And later I saw him huffing paint in his car, with some random bitch you probably even couldn't even tell me the name of because that's your whole shady ass family Zeke and what they're about you can shut your fucking mouth because you don't know shit about my family or what we have going on no actually I think I do Zeke as, as a matter of fact a couple days ago I saw your mom at Subway trying to use her EBT card yeah every time I see you open up your lunchbox all there is in there is dried ramen noodles and a damn brown ass banana browner than the shit that your father pumps into his arms oh you shouldn't have even brought up how my mother spends her money when your parents have you coming to school looking like a raggedy pride flag with Patty to bear boots. You should be concerned about the fact that your mom's so worried about spending money on clothes, she forgot to feed you an adequate amount of calories, bobblehead, and yet you still show up here every day looking like a fucking geek. You know what? It doesn't even matter, Zeke. I don't want to be your friend anymore. Melody's cooler than you. Well, you know what? If you want to play with her at recess, knock yourself out, you baby bop looking ass bitch. I should have never even tried to be your friend in the first place. Oh, you want to watch it with me, Zeke, because I promise I don't talk for long. I'll show you what the fuck I'm about. Oh, you will, will you? Girl, please. You don't even raise your hand during pop popcorn reading because you're too chicken shit. I'm not scared of you. Well, you should be scared of both of us because we're both about to do something. You know what? I'm going to tell the teacher then. I'm going to tell the teacher to go. You're going to tell the teacher yes because what you're doing right now is threatening me. We didn't threaten you. We just said that you need to shut your trap. No, actually, it sounded a lot like an implication of violence to me. You know what? Go tell the teacher then. See if I give a fuck. What's she going to do? Watch and learn. Teacher, teacher, Melody's being mean to me again. Oh, what did she say to you, sweetheart? She said that my dad does drugs and that she was going to beat me up. Melody, you need to stop picking on Zeke and focus on your work. And you need to focus on your divorce, Mrs. Mayfield, or should I say soon to be Miss Mayfield. Go and do your work, Melody. How are you going to tell me to do my work when I see you over there on YouTube watching fucking Reddit stories all day? You mean to tell me it takes you a whole goddamn week to grade one of my math papers, yet you got time to dick around like that? Well, Melody, if you're not going to do your work, you're going to go to the principal's office. I'm not the one who provoked shit. He was the one who was jealous and crying that Vanessa wants to come hang out with me. That gives you no right to say you're going to beat someone up. Zeke just wants to have a friend. Zeke is a fucking fraud, and he's not the goody two-shoes he brands himself as, just like you're a fucking fraud of a teacher, bitch. Go to the principal's office. Fine, I will. See if I care. I don't give a damn. Welcome to the Toad Show. Everybody say hello to Elsa. About three months ago, Elsa was blessed with the best day of her life when she gave birth to her son, Boo. But the best day of her life soon turned into the most heartbreaking when her fiance, Spider-Man, began denying that Boo belongs to him. And not only that, but he started to accuse Elsa of cheating on him with his best friend, Batman. 
this is her story. My fiance Spider-Man is the father of our three month old Boo. He says there's no way he could be the baby daddy because our son came out as a ghost instead of a spider when he knows I have ghosts on my side of the family. He's accusing me of sleeping with Batman. I would never do something like that to him. Just because his whore ex-wife did doesn't mean he has to project it onto me. He needs to step up to the plate and raise the child he planted deep inside of my womb lands. I know Elsa cheated on me with Batman. One day when I drove by, I saw the Batmobile in our driveway. Plus, Batman already slept with my ex-wife and only figures he'd do it again. That baby looks just like Batman. Well, maybe. I've never seen underneath Batman's mask, but they, they both look pretty pale. Whatever the outcome is, I want Batman out of my life for good. And Elsa, if that child belongs to him, we're done. Everybody, please welcome Spider-Man. So you really believe that this baby not only isn't yours, but belongs to Batman, who was your best friend since the third grade. I think it's a very strong possibility, as I even heard rumors back in the day that Elsa and Batman were hooking up. From who, Peter? It doesn't matter who it was. Yes, it does. Who the fuck told you that I hooked up with them because they fucking lied? I would like to have a word with them. Oh, he heard it from me. He heard it from you, Anna? Yeah, I, I told him. I told him you slept with my man, and I told him that you slept with Batman back in the day. You're a lying, dirty-ass skank, Elsa. Yeah, I slept with your man because you slept with my man first, bitch. You're nasty. Oh, I'm nasty? Look at you, whore. Yeah, I look perfectly fine. You're the nasty one. That's why they didn't even let your dog smell an ass on the stage. Get the fuck back there, bitch. I did not sleep with Batman. I saw his car in our driveway, Elsa. That was Robin. He was my DoorDash driver. I even showed you the transaction in my bank account. That baby is not mine. What do you mean? Just look at him. He has your eyes. You can't even see my eyes. You're the only man that I have slept with at all since me and Derek broke up. No, really. How can you stand there as a man and deny your own fucking child, Spider-Man? If you're not sleeping with other men, then why the fuck do you leave the house every other night? I leave the house every other night because if I don't, you're going to be yelling and talking down to me, talking about how I'm a hoe or how I just need a baby daddy for money when I'm the one paying for all the diapers, I'm the one buying him clothes and food, I'm the one working overtime to pay hospital fees for birthing your child as you should be paying because that's your child, not mine, bitch. Fuck you! All right, everybody, simmer down here. We have one more person to meet. Let's bring out Batman. Oh, boo, y'all, y'all, y'all don't know me. Y'all don't even know anything about me. You can keep your opinions as a Batman. You really slept with Spider-Man's ex-wife. I did do that, and I will admit to that. But it's not my fault that she came on to me. You know what? No, I think it is your fault, you little punk-ass bitch. You need to bite your tongue, because I'll fuck you up. Oh, and what are you going to do, Bruce? Oh, you shouldn't even be worried about me. You should be worried about your three children you still owe child support to because it's about to become four. I didn't sleep with Elsa, even though I most certainly could have if I wanted to. Oh, really? That's how it is, is it? Yeah, because that's how it is because all you do is date hoes and bimbos. You want to talk all that shit, motherfucker, then come step up then. You're pathetic. I trusted you like you were my own brother, Batman. I let you watch my kids. I took you in when you had nowhere else to go because the IRS took all your shit for public destruction. And this how you repay me? Yeah, it is how I repay because I'm little... <laughs> the DNA results are in. When it comes to three-month-old Boo, Batman, you are not the father. You see, motherfucker, I told you I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You're still a piece of shit for what you did to me. You can get out of my face. You can get out of mine and get out of my life for good. More than gladly, I will. What the fuck? And finally, when it comes to three-month-old Boo, Spider-Man, you are the father. I told you. I told you. I told all the What was that shit you were talking, bitch? Right? That was what was that shit? <laughs> Baby, I'm so sorry. You're sorry? That's all you have to say right now? You brought me all the way out here in front of all these people to embarrass me, embarrass our child, and now you've embarrassed yourself, so now you want to say sorry? No, don't even talk. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Get away from me. Bitch. Really, Mom? You're fucking my man, Violet? What are you even doing home? Shouldn't you still be at university? What am I even paying for? Bitch, you aren't paying for shit that's coming out of Dad's pocketbook and just wait until he finds out about this. He's not gonna find out about this. You're gonna shut your ungrateful little mouth and keep it ticking. No, actually, I don't think I will. This is the second time you cheated on him and now you wanna cheat with my own boyfriend? Out of all the men out there, you decided that you needed to lay down and get your pork chop penetrated by my man? And you think I'm just gonna take that line down? You must not 
not know who the fuck I am. I'm sorry your man needed a real woman to please him. Oh, you're a real woman, are you? Is that right? Yes, that is right. Look at all this. Look at these curves. Now look at you. What kind of real woman would fuck around with her husband with a 20-year-old? At your big ass age? That ain't nothing to be proud of. Bitch, get back here. Hey, hey get, take your hands off of me. You don't ever lay your hands on me. Who do you think you are? I think I'm your mother. You're not my mother anymore. You are just another side hoe. Seriously, Helen? And to think I even forgave you when you slept with Frozone. And I only found out about that because your vagina hadn't thawed out yet. What do you expect me to do, Bob, when you keep pushing me away? You barely treat me like you love me anymore. How am I supposed to treat you like I love you the same after you cheated on me with another man, Helen? And now you're hurting our daughter, too? And Flynn, you little punk-ass bitch, get over here. <coughs> Dad, stop! 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 It's not worth it! Flynn, you can excuse yourself from the situation because we're done. We're not done. I know you'll come crawling back. The only thing that's gonna come crawling back is the crabs in your pubic hair. After you slept with that nasty-ass thought over there, you dirty-ass motherfucker, you can go back with Rapunzel and see if she wants your two-faced ass back. I'm not going anywhere! And you can walk right out that door with him, Helen. I'm not going anywhere. I live here. Well, you're going to be sleeping on the couch tonight because I'm not sharing a bed with your ass. No, I'm going to be sleeping in that bed. You're going to be sleeping on the couch. I tell you what, Mom. You're going to be sleeping right here. Yeah. You can't get up. Yeah, you bitch. You're knocked out now. Yeah, that's what you deserve. Elsa, what are you even doing here right now? I think you know exactly what the fuck I'm doing here. Elsa, I really have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about what you were doing approximately four nights ago with Derek. Does that ring a bell? Is that clear enough? Elsa, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're sorry now? You still haven't even admitted what the fuck you did to me. And you want to tell me that you're sorry? I didn't mean for anything to happen. I literally only went over to your house to see you. Oh, you came over to my house to see me? But you ended up with my man getting fucked on the kitchen table? Make that make sense. How did you even find out about this? Because I told her. Khalees... How could you? I can't believe you would sell out your own mother like this. Well, you know what, Mom? I'm getting sick and tired of you taking me to your dick appointments and expecting me to not tell anybody. The least you could do, the very least, is hire a babysitter. So I don't have to sit in a fucking beanbag chair watching basic cable while you get your cheeks clapped in the next room. Well, if you wanted to stay at home, you should have told me. Now look at what you've done. Look at what I've done. Bitch, you were the one flapping fallopian tubes on her boyfriend. The fact that you would do that to your own sister is disgraceful. As a matter of fact, you're lucky I... I don't tell dad about what you've been doing. Oh, he already knows. Excuse me? I told your husband that you were sleeping around on him. Yes, I did. And it turns out he already knew the whole time. So we both decided to get back at you. What did you do? I slept with your husband. Bitch! I don't see what the problem here is, Anna. If you can run around sleeping with other men, then what's the problem with me sleeping with her? That's my fucking sister, Chris. Are you serious? You're my husband. It sure didn't matter that she was your sister when you decided to have sex with her boyfriend. And it certainly didn't matter that I was your husband when you started cheating on me months ago and thought I wouldn't fucking find out. What do you think? I was born yesterday? Oh, really, Chris? Who do you know that I've slept with other than Derek? I'm sure I don't know all the men you slept with, but I know that you are fucking Woody. Anna, you told me you were single and that you wanted to be with me. Me, I can't believe you would fucking lie to me like, oh, please don't even play the victim right now, Woody. You knew what this was from the very beginning. No, I didn't, Anna. You looked me in the eye and told me we had something special. You told me you saw a future with me. I was drunk as fuck, Woody, and you know that. Don't take anything I say with more than a grain of salt. And I said that before I got drunk. What are you even doing here right now? I came over here to see Chris. To see Chris? For What do you mean? Get the fuck off my man. That's not your man anymore. He's coming with me. That's my husband, Chris. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me, Anna? And Woody makes me feel a way you never made me feel. So what am I risking? Chris, what are you thinking? What are you doing? Don't do this. Have you thought of your daughter? What you're putting her through right now? How she's going to react to this? You weren't thinking of our daughter when you did what the fuck you did, on it. That doesn't matter. Okay, first of all, bitch, don't speak for me. And second of all, how rich is it that you would try to pin all the blame on him after what you put everybody here through? What you put your sister through, what you put me through, and what you put both of these men through? It takes a whole lot of unearned, and I mean unearned, 
hard-earned audacity, Anna, for you to do what you do to people and treat people the way you fucking treat people and then want to play the victim afterwards and then accuse other people of playing the victims. I see exactly the type of person you are. And listen, Dad, if what you need to do at this moment in time is explore your homosexuality, I fully support that. It has nothing to do with her and honestly, it has nothing to do with me. That's between you and whatever man you decide to lay down with. However, I do recommend that you spend some time alone and that you don't rush into anything serious after what you've been through because it's not a smart decision. Woody, I know that you've been very deeply hurt by her as my father has, but I hope that you don't take this opportunity to take advantage of him. And if you do so help me, God, I will come for your ass. And as for you, Thea, what you need to do is leave that bum ass punk bitch you're shacked up with and find something more fulfilling in your life because I know damn well my mother is not the first person he's cheated on you with and I know damn well she won't be the last either. As a matter of fact, he's probably at home fucking another bitch right now while you're out here causing a scene trying to defend yourself. Now, if y'all don't mind me, it is far past my bedtime, so either shut the hell up or take this outside. Thank you. August, I'm coming to you as a woman right now. Is what Inez told me the truth? I don't know. What did she tell you? I think you know good and well what she told me, and I'm giving you the opportunity to tell me yourself before things get ugly. Before things get ugly? Really? What are you gonna do, Betty? No, really, I don't wanna have to show you what I'm gonna do. Oh, no, 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 no. Be my guest. If you're really about it, then come show me then, bitch. Did you sleep with James? Did I sleep with him? I don't know, Betty. I think everybody fell asleep watching your last theater production. What did you do with my boy? Boyfriend, we had sex. Bitch! Seriously, August? You were fucking my man? Yup, yup. I saw him walking home from the dance by himself, so I pulled up and said, get in the car. We did it right there behind the mall. How many times did you sleep with him? Oh, baby, I lost count of that. We were at it all summer long. It was at least 13 times, and that's not even counting when I gave him head under the table while he was eating cornflakes. I was sipping on that dick like a bottle of wine. You're disgusting. Your man sure wasn't saying that to me when he was telling me that he loved me for two whole months, saying how good this cat is and how he was gonna leave you. He knew better, so he did better. It's not my fault. And and Inez, let me ask you what the fuck you think you're doing walking around here telling everybody my business. She's my best friend, August. How could you expect me to not tell her because I told you to keep it a secret? We were friends. He was telling me he was single at the time. It's not like I did shit wrong to anybody. I don't owe shit to anybody. Well, you're not a good enough friend of mine for me to keep a secret like that from Betty. We've known each other for years. Well, you sure weren't rushing to tell Betty about anything that was happening when you were at my house all summer telling me you've never had another friend like me eating snacks out of my fridge, skinny dipping in the pool in my backyard, but now you want to tell her everything just because I don't invite you over like I used to. And you know why I don't? Because you're a fake ass bitch, Inez, and I should have never trusted you. And if she was smart, she wouldn't trust you either, because I know you're the type of bitch that would fuck her man behind her back. Betty, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did what I did. You just gotta forgive me. You don't know why you slept with another girl? James, I love you so much. I would never do something like this to you. Look, Betty, I saw you dancing with another guy, so I left. I was vulnerable. She means nothing to me. You saw me dancing with another guy, so you left to go have a quickie with that hoe behind the Alderwood Mall? Okay, what you're not gonna do is call me a hoe all because you don't know how to keep your fucking dog on a leash. And really, James, you're gonna sit here and tell me that I never meant anything to you because you didn't mean anything to me. You were just a fling, August. Oh, I'm just a fling, am I? That's not what you were saying when you were coming over to my house, buying me flowers, taking me out to dinner, telling me that you loved me. What, and it was all just a lie? A show so you could get in my pants so you could take my virginity? You wanna play with my fucking emotions like that? Well, let me tell you something, motherfucker. You're a useless, dweeb-ass little fuckboy bitch with nothing special to bring to the table other than mid-dick and quick head. And if I had anything else to compare it to at the time, I most definitely would not have spent my entire summer drunk with your bum ass around everywhere you needed to fucking go. And you wanna know what, Betty? I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I told him, and I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I told her. It's not my job to watch over your man and make sure he's being faithful to you. Girl, I don't know you from a hole in the wall, but what I do recommend is that you leave that trash bin and go work on yourself. There is a reason why he's running back to you. It's because he needs someone who's gonna let him treat her any type of fucking way and let his ass off scot-free. And he knows damn well I am not the first track of folklore, and I am not the one. Have a fantastic day. Betty, don't listen to her, baby. Let's talk about this. I'm done talking to you. Don't call me, don't DM me, and don't even think about showing up at my birthday party party next week. Come on, Inez. Since we're airing all of our dirty laundry, I have a secret I've been keeping from you, Frankie. Drea, you don't have to tell him right now. Maybe I don't have to, but I want to. I had sex with Brandon. What? You slept with my fiance, Brandon? You're my own cousin. How could you do this to me? Oh, you're going to try and talk down to me now? You sure weren't preaching to that choir when you decided to sleep with your brother's wife. How the fuck could you do this to me? Because like a wise woman once said, there's nothing I do better than revenge. I know all about what you did with my ex-boyfriend. 
You mean Henry? Yeah, that's right. You slept with him, and I knew you slept with him. So I decided I would pipe your girl before I ever introduced her to you. And just as I planned, you fell in love with her. You had sex with Drea before you ever introduced her to me? Yup. And I had fun doing it. For what it's worth, Frankie, I never cheated on you. My relationship with him ended before we started dating, so don't even try to play victim right now. It's nowhere close to what you did to me. It doesn't matter, Drea. You still lied to me. No, I didn't. You never asked me if I slept with him because I never figured that you had. Well, you expected me to guess that you were sleeping with my best friend while we were engaged. Babe, look. If you can look past what I did to you... I can look past what you did to me. Absolutely not, Frankie. What's done is done. This wedding is over and so are we. Really? You're just going to throw it all away like that? Yes, I am. Because it's not much to me anymore. You burnt up every last shred of respect I had for you, Frankie. We're over. Brandon, look, at this point, you're all I have. Wait, what? Are you not mad at me? You're all I have. <laughs> Gary, he doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. My mom, she doesn't even call me. She was all I had left. Brandon, what do I do if I'm losing you? I don't have a home. I have nothing. Why am I such a terrible person? I don't know what I did. What did I do to deserve to be this kind of person? Wait, Frankie, really, Melody? Are you happy with yourself? I am happy with myself because I expose you for the type of fucking rancid bitch you are, Sarah. Have a good night. You doing anything later? Oh, get away from me. Hi, Dad. Oh, welcome home, Naya. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I got to go to Wild Waves. That's so awesome. I'm so happy for you. Oh, and hey there, Derek. What's up? Do we have a problem, Greg? Excuse me? I said, do we have a fucking problem? I don't, but it certainly sounds like you do. What's wrong? Can you explain to me why the fuck my daughter is calling you her dad? Okay, Derek, listen, slow down here. I don't want to listen to shit you have to say. I have one demand, and I'm not negotiating about it. I don't ever in my life want to hear my daughter refer to you as her dad again. Do you understand me? Derek, I didn't force her to start calling me her dad. She did it by her own volition. I don't give a damn what happened. I just want to make sure it stops, and it stops today. You know what? No. I'm not going to stop her. If that's the way she feels, it's the way she feels, Derek. And you need to accept that. I treat that girl with the same amount of love and respect as I do Sierra. And I'm not going to sit here and stop just because you don't want to deal with the repercussions of the mistakes you made in your life. You keep my fucking name out of your mouth and don't ever tell me about the mistakes I've made. You don't know me, you little punk-ass bitch. What I do know, Derek, is that you're a deadbeat-ass motherfucker who still owes back seven months of child support payments and doesn't even show up to half of your scheduled visitations with your daughter. And now you're surprised that she confiding in me and calling me her dad she doesn't have much else to one what do you expect her to do oh you better watch your goddamn tongue before you speak to me like that i'll rip it out your fucking throat seriously derek you're gonna threaten violence right in front of these two girls the only person you should be upset with right now is the man in the mirror because you put yourself in this predicament you treated your ex-wife like shit you cheated on her abused her and disrespected her at every turn for years and then when it was time for you to step up to the plate and be a father you ran away to las vegas for two years you're lucky you're even getting these visitations you're just mad at me right now because you're jealous i'm not jealous of shit motherfucker yes you are you're jealous of the fact that i'm a better father to your own daughter than you could ever be motherfucker Girls, girls, go to your room. Break it up, break it up, both of you. Break it up. Derek, I need you to get the fuck out of here right now. Sheena, that cannot be the man that you want to be with. I know it's not. Look, me and Elsa aren't together anymore. I know we can make this work. Derek, I don't want shit to do with you. What you need to do right now is just get the fuck out of my house before I call the cops in your ass. Baby, please, just give me one more chance. Don't fucking call me that. I'm not your baby. I'm not your sweetheart. I'm the mother of your child, and that is all I am to you. We have been together in over seven years for a reason. You think I would ever in my life have such little respect for myself as to go back to a man who had sex with my own father in the bed he shared with my mother? You have me all the way fucked up. Get out of here. I'm not going anywhere without my child. Motherfucker, you don't have a child here. Naya, just go to your room. You want to know what? No, because I've had enough. 
You need your ass checked, Derek, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what the fuck I think about you. Naya, you don't ever call me Derek. You refer to me as your dad. I'm not referring to you as no dad, father, whatever the fuck, nothing of the sort, because you're none of those things to me. You know what you are, Derek? A trifling ass audacious, good for nothing sperm donor with an empty wallet. Bitch, you couldn't even afford to buy me an ice cream at the park this weekend. As a matter of fact, don't even bother showing up for the visitation next week, because this time, I'm skipping out on you the way you always fucking do to me. You're never there. You've never been there for me and now you expect me to treat you like your fucking father of the year well you got another thing coming the best thing you could do for me at this moment in time is get your ass up out of here and go home to that white bitch that lets you treat her like garbage oh wait that's right she left your ass too and now you got nobody yeah get the fuck out of here that's right just get away from me chris you're such a fucking liar i'm not a liar i told you i was hanging out with elsa you told me you were hanging out with her not that you are fucking her on my couch. Listen, you should have known what she was all about from the get-go, Jasmine. She tries to sleep with everybody in this town, and you know that. I know what she's all about. She's a dirty-ass hoe, and nobody can stop her from being that. But at the end of the day, she was still my friend. And most importantly, you're my boyfriend of four years. I expected you to have enough respect for me to not sleep with her. She came in here. She was rubbing herself all on me, doing all that shit. I didn't have a choice. It doesn't matter what she was doing. You don't have enough autonomy over your stuff to say no? You're not enough of a man to stick by your woman and not lay down with that walking venereal disease right there? And bitch, don't think I don't see you smirking and snickering over there. What do you think this is funny? You think you're fucking cute? Yeah, I do think I'm funny actually. I think I'm fucking adorable. Oh, you think it's funny to come into my house and sleep with my man and disrespect me and leave your infected discharge all over my couch cushion, you nasty bottom feeding ass skank? Girl, I didn't come over here to disrespect you. I came over here for a dick appointment. It didn't have shit to do with you. Oh, really? A dick appointment? With my man in my house? You think that shit's appropriate? You think I should just overlook? I had to schedule it somewhere. Believe it or not, he was accepting patrons. Oh, he was. Was he? Yes, he was. I'm not even sure why you're so worried about getting dick in the first place. Shouldn't you be more worried about whether or not your flop-ass sequel's gonna get a third movie? Oh, you wanna talk about sequels? As if all of yours aren't direct to DVD, bitch, you couldn't even afford Idina Menzel with all the budget of your movies combined. And bitch, you couldn't afford Robin Williams, bitch. Get the Yeah, bitch, get the fuck out, get the fuck, you trying to escape? Yeah, and that was just the beginning, that ass whooping, that was just the start. March your musty ass right out that door to the streets where you belong. I'm gonna make your life a living hell. And you know what? You can march your sad ass right that fucking door with her sack of shit. I'm not going anywhere. I live here, my name is on that deep. Well, your name isn't on the paychecks that go towards the mortgage, are they? Get the fuck out, we're through. Oh yeah, good luck finding another man to put up with your ass. I've done it before and I'll do it again. Yeah, that's right, get to stepping. Motherfucker, get to Mama, help, daddy won't wake up, he's just tw twitching. Oh Christ, are you serious? Travis, wake the hell up! God damn it, Travis. I already told you, if you don't stop shooting up, I'm gonna fucking leave you. I'm not kidding around. I'm not shooting up. Travis, I see the needle sticking out of the tourniquet on your arm. How stupid do you think I am? Babe, I, d I, d I don't even know how that got there. I was just I was just gonna put Zeke to bed, and then I just got sent. For fuck's sake, Travis, if you're gonna do it, at least do it when I'm home and not in front of the fucking child. I can't do it in front of you. You always yell at me. Yeah, because Zeke almost died, Travis. He almost fucking died because of you. Kelsey, calm down. He didn't almost die. Yes, he did, Travis. He stepped on one of your needles and I had to rush him to the ER two hours late because you didn't even notice he was crying out for help. You were too busy nodding off in the fucking bathtub to take care of your own child. You saw the pus coming out of his little foot and screaming for mercy because his nubbing medication wouldn't work. How can you sit there and risk that again? Babe, chill out. Out. Let's just talk about this. No! I'm done talking to you because you don't listen. You don't change. You don't even remember the promises you make. You told me you wouldn't get high in front of him anymore. You fucking promise, Travis. Well, you know what, Kelsey? If you want to leave me, just leave me then. I'm sick of you trying to change me. I don't want to leave you, Travis. I want you to get better because Zeke needs his dad. I don't want him to grow up the way we did. <laughs> It's like you don't even fucking care about him. Don't fucking say that in front of him. Zeke, you know daddy loves you, right? Right, Zeke? You're my special little guy. Then why don't you stop, daddy? You just don't understand, Zeke. You will when you're a grown-up like me. Daddy's just got a little problem, but he loves you so much. If you love me, then why won't you stop, daddy? Do you love the needles more than me? No, Zeke, it's not like that at all. Why do you make mommy cry?
I see her crying every day because you won't stop, and it makes me sad, Daddy. Daddy, remember when you told me to stop eating your Chips Ahoy, even though I like the Chips Ahoy a lot, but I stopped eating them because I love you, Daddy. Stop doing the needles, Daddy. Great, Travis, look what you've done. You proud of yourself? Father of the year, everyone. Close the curtains. Kelsey, you aren't fucking helping. Well, you know what, Travis? I'm done trying to help you. Zeke, get in the car. We're leaving. But, Mama, I don't want to leave without Daddy. Can we please take him with us to the hospital? They can make him better like they made me better. Zeke, I'm so sorry, but we can't help Daddy unless he wants us to help him. <laughs> I don't want my daddy to die. Travis, you have two options right now. Either I take you back to rehab, or you can stay here and nod yourself off into a coma. But I'm not having my child around this any fucking longer. I think you both should just leave without me. Fine. That's what you want? Knock yourself out then, Travis. Come on, Zeke. I know you're too strung out of your putrid little mind to realize it right now, but if by some miracle you live long enough to see it, you're gonna regret this day, Travis. Because I'm not coming back this time. And trust me, that little boy will remember it. He'll remember every second of it, Travis. I can't believe it's too much. Oh, fuck yeah. Welcome to court, bitch. I bet your trailer park ass didn't ever think you'd be on trial for your behavior, but the consequences of your actions have finally caught up with you, Sarah, and that's why you're on the fast track to losing custody of your children permanently. Do you have anything to say before we bring out the witnesses? Yes, I do, actually. Well, shut the fuck up then, because nobody wants to hear you speak. I'm going to say what I have to say, because it's within my legal right to do such. I'll have you know I'm an excellent mother. I fed them almost every day, and I only beat them three times. So stop pretending like you know my story when you don't. Okay, that's enough, Ellen. The court summoned Sarah's ex-husband, Gary. Sarah, what the fuck is wrong with you? How are you gonna go and not feed the kids for two days? And you mean to tell me you were hitting them with a belt while I was at work? I did what I had to do. You know how those girls don't like to behave. All you want to talk about now is how I need to face the repercussions of my actions, but not about how those little bitches need to be taught a lesson. They are defenseless children, Sarah. How could you even say something like that? You are not the woman I married. You disgust me. Well, I sure didn't disgust your brother while I was sleeping with him last night. I I don't care what you two lunatics do anymore. The only thing I care about is making sure my daughters aren't around it. You don't even love those girls. The only reason you fought for custody in the first place was because you wanted to spite me. You're pathetic, Sarah. You can call me whatever you want to call me, Gary, but one day you're going to regret the way you just up and walked away from us. You really think you could do better than me? As a matter of fact, I already have. Me and Kendra are going out to dinner right after I leave here tonight. <gasps> Kendra? Seriously, Gary, I knew you were fucking around with her. I had no contact with her while we were still married, and you know that, Sarah. Don't even try your little last-ditch attempt to paint me as the villain here. After what you put me through, I needed someone to comfort me the way she has. You piece of shit, get lost! You've already said everything you need to say. I'd be more than happy to leave your presence, you abusive succubus. Have the day you deserve, Sarah. The court now summons Sarah's six-year-old daughter, Melody, to the stand. There really isn't even much that I need to say to you right now, Sarah, considering your bet is already made. But let me tell you something that you're learning the fucking hard way right now. I am not the type to play with. And I don't take kindly to disrespect and neglect. I especially don't take kindly to it when you want to do it to my little sister. I didn't even tell the court about the fact that you were getting high out of her milk bottles and giving them back to her without even washing them after. <gasps> that is not true, Melody. How could you even say that right now? You know lying is wrong. I'm not fucking lying. But even if I was, you aren't one to say shit considering your dishonor is what brought you here today. If you really want me to dig in the guts, I could tell them about the fact that you were fucking the mailman in the same room as me when I was four years old, and how I still have marks on my skin from the time you bathed me with bleach. But you know what, Sarah? I'm not even gonna waste my time airing all your dirty laundry, because at the end of the day, I'm moving on with my life, and I take solace in the fact that I'm never gonna have to see your ass again, and you'll never lay a finger on me, my sister, or my father ever once more. Funny you'd say that, considering the fact that your father isn't even Anna Lynn's real father. You could say that all you want, but at the end of the day, 
day, his name is still the one that is on that birth certificate. And you should be grateful he's the one willing to step up and take care of your child for you, considering you don't know where the fuck that man you slept with resides today. He could be dead for all you know. The only thing he left with you is his seminal fluid. And one last word of advice before I say my final goodbye, Sarah. The first thing you should do every morning when you wake up from here on out is take a good long hard look in the mirror and be ashamed of yourself. You are the most nasty, foul-spirited individual I have ever encountered in all my six years of life. I bid you adieu. Has the jury reached its verdict? We have, Your Honor. Our verdict is that you're a dirty, dishonest hoe, Sarah. And not only are we taking away your kids and giving them to your ex-husband, we're also taking your house and repossessing your car. Plus, you're getting six weeks in prison. But that doesn't even have shit to do with what you did to your kids. That's just an added penalty because of that whack-ass haircut. All right, put your hands behind your back. Gary, you need to man up, stop fucking around with that trashy bitch and come back home. It is beyond selfish that you continue to put our family through this. Firstly, don't ever call Kendra out of her name. And secondly, I'll have you know my family is doing just fine, Sarah. The only difference is that you're not part of it anymore. That divorce will be finalized next week and the court ordered for you to not be around the kids. You need to leave this premises right now. I'm not going anywhere without my husband and my children. I put too much goddamn effort into this relationship for you to just leave like this. Let me ask you what kind of effort you ever put in our relationship. Relationship, Sarah? Having sex with my brother? Whipping our children with a belt while I was at work? Is that what you call effort? What I call effort is the fact that I was a wonderful wife to you. I always looked good for you, Gary. I always made time for you. I gave you everything, unlike that nasty whore. Okay, bitch. I was gonna stay out of it, but clearly we need to get reacquainted if you want to keep throwing strays at me when I didn't do shit to you. At the end of the day, Sarah, you, and only you, are the one who's responsible for the decisions that you've made in your life. You decided to get your snatch sewed up by your brother-in-law, Schlong, and you're the one who decided to abuse your own children and that's why you are where you are today and you can blame me and call me a whore all you want because I know it's not true the fact that I know who the fuck I am is what's true and I don't need anybody else to validate that unlike you bitch you want to talk about how I'm trashy and nasty and dirty when this whole town knows that you're a homie hopping ass kangaroo bouncing from dick to dick wrecking home to home bitch you don't even have decent clothes to wear every time I see you step out of the house you look dusty and grimy bitch you look almost as tired and ran through as your whack pussy in fact I know you stole that dress from the homeless shelter because I donated it about two months ago. Because that's the type of foul spirit you are, Sarah. Taking clothes away from the less fortunate, you stank breath ass hoe. You want to know the real truth of the matter? How you're really just mad about the fact that I'm fucking your man better than you ever could. You thought he couldn't upgrade from you. You thought you were the best he'd ever have. And now you want a second chance because you can't stand to see it. And not only that, but I'm now being a better mother to your own children than you ever were. Get the fuck out of my house. Oh, you're a better mother than me? Girl, please, you don't know what it's like to carry a child. No, I don't know what it's like to carry a child. But I know what it's like to nurture a child and give a child a loving environment to make a child feel wanted. That's something that your children never experienced until they were in my hands. You can try all you want, but my children will never, never love you the way that they love me. Don't you ever in your life speak for me, ho. Melody, mind your business. This is an adult conversation. Is it really, Sarah? I could have sworn it was you getting your ass dragged and all your dirty laundry aired out because you don't know how to shut your trap. And I'll have you know, it very much is my business when you want to speak on my behalf. And it's especially my business when you want to disrespect my stepmother, who has been an absolute angel to me. Bitch, you aren't even 5% of the mother she is. You are a child, Melody. You do not know what is best for you. Really, Gary? This is how you're going to allow your daughter to become a foul-mouthed little brat? Okay, you know what, bitch? I've had enough of you. Excuse me, Annalyn? Bitch, you can excuse yourself. Don't ever call my sister a brat. She may just be a child, but she's been more of a mother to me than you. And both of us have made it very clear we want to live with our father so you can get the fuck out of our lives. That's not even really your father, Annalyn, and you know that. Oh, he's not my father? Well, where is my biological father then, Sarah? Quickly. Oh, you got nothing to say now, bitch? Yeah, precisely. Because you fucked on some random man in Taiwan, and all he did was bust a nut in you and that dipped. And now you're bitter because you gave nine months of your life away to push out a child for a man who didn't give a rat's ass about you. So you could go ahead and remove yourself from the mother of the year consideration. Yup, yup, just like that. Keep it going. Kendra, how dare you? What are you, what are you doing at my house? I know about your secrets, Kendra. You can only hide the truth for so long. Boy, what the fuck are you talking about? I asked you on a date two weeks ago, and you told me you weren't looking for a relationship right now. But I saw you on a date with Gary last night at Anthony's home port. What do you mean you saw me out on a date? Are you spying on me? I wasn't spying on you. I was following you to make sure you were safe. Woody, I'm a grown-ass woman. I don't need you to protect me. And I sure as hell don't need you following 
following me and showing up at my doorstep because of what I decided to do with my free time. So you were lying to me when you told me you weren't looking for a relationship. You are looking for one. Woody, I'm just not looking for a relationship with you. I am not interested in you. You have been asking me out for years and I tell you no every time. I do not want to date you. You're just intimidated by the fact that I'm such a nice guy and that I would never cheat on you or do anything bad to make you able to leave me, which would be the end of your little slut phase, you fucking cunt. Okay, you need to leave. What? I thought you wanted me to be more like this and not nice. Isn't this what you wanted, you stupid bitch? You're lucky I even wanted to date you anyway, considering you're mid at best. Okay, listen up, shark nose. What your redneck, sickly looking ass self is not about to do is come on my property and disrespect me just because you feel entitled to my body and time. I don't know where the hell you even got the nerve to come to my house in the first place, but what I do know is you better march your inflatable two-man ass right the fuck back down them steps before I dig knee deep in that ass and tell you some unsavory words you're gonna wish you never came to my fucking door to hear. You understand me, you backwood dick, wad piece of shit? I don't know who the fuck you thought you were talking to, but clearly I need to reintroduce introduce myself. My name is Kendra Higginson, and I'm not gonna sit here and take no lip from a motherfucker who Andy didn't even want to keep. You can take all that mess back home and air your grievances on the Reddit incel forum all you like, but I assure you that I do not need to hear it. Babe, is someone at the door? Uh, oh, hi, Woody. What do you want? I came over here to take back my girl. Well, I'd say you best get to looking elsewhere, because she most certainly doesn't live here. You want to square up, partner? No, I actually would like for you to leave so I can get back to cooking dinner with my girlfriend. Oh, oh, hey, hey, get off of him, you motherfucker. Stop choking me. I won't fucking stop choking you. This is what you deserve. All these years of fucking harassment, you think you could do that to me? Gary. Are you okay? Yeah, I, is he okay? No, he's dead. Let's hide his body. If anyone in this room objects to the holy matrimony of Frankie Andrea, please speak now or forever hold your peace. Melody, what are you doing here? It's my uncle's wedding. What do you mean, what am I doing here? Melody, you are not invited for a reason. You are causing a disturbance. Now make your way. Don't even try it with me right now, Sarah. You know damn well why I'm here. And if you aren't going to tell her, then I will. Melody. I swear to God, if you don't listen to your mother and get out of here right now, then what? What are you gonna do, Sarah? No, really. Bitch, I have you pegged like a goddamn baseball. How can you, as a woman, stand right there next to the very woman you call your best friend and watch her happily get married to a man you know good and well you've been sleeping with? Excuse me, what did you say? You heard me, right? That woman right there, Sarah Cunningham, my mother and your maid of honor, she had sex with your fiancé multiple times, as recent as last week. Sarah... Is she telling the truth? Listen, Drea, it's not like that. It's, it's a yes or no question, Sarah. Did you sleep with Frankie? Yes, bitch, get the fuck out. Fake, whack, trash ass bitch. Hey, 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 get off of her. Really, Frankie? You're gonna protect her? I see how it is now, baby. It's, it's not like that at all. I, I love you so much. You love me? Motherfucker, you don't know what love is if this is how you treat somebody you love. I took you in when you had nothing, you sorry sack of shit. Everything you have is because of me. From your car to your job to the clothes on your back. And now you're gonna stab me in mine like this? My best friend, Frankie? Really, baby, listen. She came on to me. Oh, and you thought the appropriate response was to come inside of her? You make me sick with your own brother's wife, too. You disgust me in every way fathomable. How dare you? How dare you bring me all the way out here in front of all my friends and family to humiliate me like this? I didn't mean to humiliate you. None of this was meant to happen, Dre. I don't... Oh, so what you meant to do was smile in my face and legally bind yourself to me while knowing all of the lies and deceit you close your eyes to at night. Fuck you, ass white... And you, Sarah, really? Your own brother-in-law? My fiancé? You dirty ass hoe. Oh, so that's what you're gonna do? You're gonna call me a hoe? Now, yes, I am gonna call you a hoe, because that's what you are. A good-for-nothing ass, two-faced, dirty ass hoe, just like you always have been. I should have known what you were all about in college when you got that train ran on you by the entire soccer team, and you even tried to get the married coach in on it. Bitch, don't be mad at me. Be mad at your man. It's not my fault he was willing to lay down and get up inside of me. No, it's not. But it is your fault that you decided to lie and disrespect me and ruin what was supposed to be the best day of my life all because you couldn't keep your home wrecking ass away from mine.